Dean Skelton. repeatedly told me not to do it because Greek isn't funny. <laughs> I uh, also want to thank Governor Cuomo and the General Services Department of the State for allowing us to use the Convention Center because it's my understanding that Governor Cuomo has been rehearsing his next inaugural address. <laughs> and it's my understanding also that he is going to announce, and I've, I've heard this secondhand through a third hand, but I'm telling you off the record, that the major initiatives that he's going to announce are going to be the call for a hard property tax cap, for ethics reform, and for nonpartisan redistricting. But I'd like to show you another side of me because Sometimes people do not see the humorous side. Because Greek is funny. My problem is all the Greek jokes were either used in my big fat Greek wedding or they're about sex. <laughs> it's actually true that everything we enjoy today really comes from the Greeks. Culture, the arts, science and technology, the alphabet, philosophy, even the concept of laws, all were invented by the Greeks. In fact, it was an ancient Greek civilization that invented money, politics, and an on-time budget. <laughs> Not surprisingly, that civilization collapsed and was followed by the Greek Dark Ages, which sounds a little like Albany. Fortunately, things are starting to change. It has been a pleasure working with our new governor, Andrew Cuomo. He really isn't anything like what people told me about last fall when someone said that whenever you enter the room with Andrew, he expects you to kiss his ring, which he keeps in his back pocket. <laughs> Along with a certain post reporter. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would have predicted that a Democrat governor would cut spending and taxes like a Republican, but remember, it was the Greeks that civilized the Romans. <laughs> 